Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the US dollar index for Tuesday, January the 19th, 2010. Well the markets uh, changed trend over the last few days. Uh, the previous day we had a higher high and a higher low with a fairly uh, bullish candle, a very large green body candle. And today continues that uptrend uh, with a higher high and a higher low and another bullish candle, uh, quite a large green body. The green body tells us that the buyers have made some solid net bullish progress and uh, the market has closed up above the midpoint level only just. That tells us that the, the uh, buyers closed this market in control uh, but they did lose some commitment as evidenced by the shadow on top of the uh, candle. But uh, they still have main con control. They have shown a small amount of commitment so they don't totally lack commitment to taking this market higher. If the market does continue to trade up, then we need to be aware that we have a barrier here around the top of this uh, um, flag pattern that we identified previously. So there is potential for the market to find resistance up around there. Also, potential resistance anywhere up from around 78 up to about 78.50 roughly, where we can see these large shadows and the previous uh, fairly solid downside price rejection uh, that... Um, came into the market when uh, the market was trading around this area. So there is potential for the market to sell off if it does trade up around there. Uh, we had a false breakout down below the bottom of the uh, of this flag pattern. And um, uh, what we uh, usually like to see is the, uh, if it's the breakout is to the downside, we like to see a solid bearish close down below. And we failed to, to have that. We had a spinning top type candle and then another previous candle where the uh, sellers lost commitment. Uh, so there weren't any uh, genuinely uh, negative uh, candles in terms of uh, breakout here over the last uh, week or so when we had the breakout. So we do need to watch uh, potential for a breakout to the upside. And uh, we'll only take a signal if we do have a solid bullish close up above there. If we do end up having a solid bullish, uh, sorry, solid, solid bearish close down below uh, the bottom of this area, then there is potential for the market to retrace back down towards the cloud or whatever. We do have solid resistance down around the 7650, uh, sorry, solid support down around the 7650, 7660 region from this previous swing low here. So uh, there is uh, some uh, potential support for the market if it does uh, take out this area here. Um, so the market is trading up above the cloud or the Kumo, and uh, so it has an overall positive bias. So we would expect that the breakout may be to the upside if it does occur, and breakout above the flag. The market is trading up above the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen, which is uh, a positive in the short term and medium term time frames. The Chiku Span is above the uh, market from 26 periods ago, so that's uh, telling us that the market is bullish. And uh, the uh, negative for this mark, uh, sorry, a positive for this market as well is that the Tenkan Sen is above the Kijun Sen. Now the Tenkan Sen has turned flat, reflecting uh, some uh, congestion that occurred previously, and the market has retraced back towards there. But the Kijun Sen is uh, pointing up, uh, not a steep angle, but it is reflecting some of this small upside price momentum that we have uh, seen coming into the market over the past day or so. So. Uh, I think we need to be patient with this market, wait for a potential breakout to the upside if it does occur. Very strong resistance overhead, though. Uh, potential for the market to break out to the downside, though.